More trouble tonight for the Canadian Senate. There are reports a number of Conservative senators continued to spend lavishly, even at the height of the expense scandal, buying expensive business class tickets for themselves and their spouses. And now Global News has uncovered evidence many other senators are not cooperating fully with the Auditor General's investigation of how they've spent taxpayers' money. Our Ottawa Bureau Chief Jacques Bourbeau has our exclusive report. Last June, the Senate decided to open its books to the Auditor General. But now, some senators are having second thoughts. For the record, Auditor General Michael Ferguson says the audits are progressing smoothly. Obviously, there are um, questions, you know, and, and uh, um, you know, they want information about what we're doing and that type of thing. But I think so far, we're satisfied with the cooperation. But behind the scenes, it's a different story. Last November, senators were asked to send a form letter to the Auditor General, promising to fully cooperate with the examination of their expenses. It reads, in part, I will comply with any request for access to relevant documents. I will also provide any authorization for you to obtain access to relevant information held by third parties. But three months later, this senator from New Brunswick still hasn't sent the letter. No, because the letter needs some adjustment. I have to know why the Auditor General needs the letter. I want to be able to understand it. It's as simple as that. Others have sent the letter but have taken out sections they don't like putting limits on what the AG can do. No Canadian would expect anybody to waive uh, social client privilege, and I'm not going to. Global News sent an email to all sitting senators asking if they've pledged their full cooperation with the audit. 27 said they have. Among them, Conservative Senator Vern White. I've conducted probably a dozen audits, and I've been audited uh, in my previous roles more than a dozen times, and typically it requires a letter explaining what's going to be audited and what the process uh, everyone's going to follow. And but not all senators were so forthcoming. 18 responded to our email telling us it's none of our business, while 48 didn't bother to respond. The Conservative leader in the Senate says he's not worried some senators have still not pledged their full cooperation. I understand that some senators want to have more information and discuss with the, with the Auditor General uh, before to sign the letter and they, 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 they need to have a couple of uh, days of reflection, I suppose. But in fact, senators have had three months to reflect on this request. Now, even without the letter, the Auditor General still has the power to go ahead with these audits, but without a senator's full cooperation, auditors won't be able to get a complete picture of how senators are spending taxpayers' dollars. Donna? All right, Jacques, thank you.